Hi Taurus, Sun, Moon, Ascendant, or Venus, this is Dean, and I am going to be doing your Angel and Spirit Guide message reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also to subscribe to my channel. Now do know that during these trying times, these scary times, this reading is only going to be focusing on love, light, and positivity to raise us up instead of bringing us down, because there is more than enough going around to bring us down. All right, so let's get started. We're going to be starting with your spirit guide animal cards. These are going to be your totem animals, your spirit animals for this time. And if you see them in the wild or an image of these animals, this is really your angels and your spirit guides tapping you on the shoulder, Taurus, saying, remember this message. Angel and spirit guide message for Taurus. Angel and spirit guide message for Taurus. Angel and Spirit Guide message for Taurus. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Ooh, fantastic. So the cat spirit jumped out. It says, claim your independence. And then we have the eagle spirit. Spirit has your back. So claiming your independence means you know, kind of following the rules of everything that everybody is saying to do during these, you know, during this time. But it's, it's, you're, you're discovering a truth about you, Taurus. You're discovering something very beautiful and very powerful about you that now that it is discovered or as it is being discovered, you will never be the same afterwards. And that is in an exquisite way. Okay. It's kind of like, you'll never be the same after this. And it is gorgeous. Angel and spirit guide message for Taurus. Angel and Spirit Guide message for Taurus. Angel and Spirit Guide message for Taurus. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. So we have listening with the throat chakra and this one right here, peace. That's beautiful. With the crown chakra, listening and embracing peace, meditation would be beautiful for you during this time. Angel and Spirit Guide message for Taurus. Angel and Spirit Guide message for Taurus. Angel and Spirit Guide message for Taurus. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. So we have the magician, of course we do, right at the heart of it all. Then we have the Lord, which is an Aries energy a time frame of March 21st to April 19th. Then we have the sun, the prince of swords, an air sign energy, a Gemini, a Libra, and Aquarius, the ten of wands, a release of a burden, the seven of cups, visualization, the four of cups, you're getting a gift, the wheel of fortune, you have a completion of a cycle here, the Strength card, and the Prince of Cups, a Water Sign Energy, a Pisces, a Scorpio, a Cancer. So you really do have a lot of movement here, which it can mean that you're getting a little bit stir crazy if you are doing isolation or, you know, if your state is on lockdown or wherever you are is kind of on lockdown or you're doing self-isolation, you can be going a little bit stir crazy. So here it's like focusing on peace and focusing on what you can do instead of what you can't do is going to be absolutely beneficial for you. You have a repeat of the number 10, which means that you are coming to an end of a cycle. And as you come to this end of a cycle, you're claiming power that you didn't know you had. And you have a lot of major arcana cards here and court cards. So for me, this is a very powerful time. And this is a time where you will be seeing a lot of truths coming forward. And a lot of a lot of things that can't be ignored. This is why the change is coming and you'll never be the same. It's kind of like this change is coming, this cycle is completed, and you are moving forward with such force, with such power, with such beauty that you're a game changer during this time. And so let's start here with the cat spirit and the eagle spirit. The cat spirit says, claim your independence, and the eagle spirit says, spirit has your back. As you claim your independence, spirit has your back. You are always going to be protected by spirit. Right? Think of spirit as your angels, your spirit guides, the wings of your angels wrapped around you, your spirit guides holding your hand 
and saying, I'm going to be leading you forward. Listen. Both of these have wings. I think it's very cute that the cat has wings. So you're flying to new heights and you're flying and you might never have thought you would soar. You might always have thought, oh yeah, I'm going to stay with my feet firmly planted on the ground and reason and logic and everything like that. Okay, especially during these times, like I'm going to reason it all out. But there's such a sensual, powerful nature to you that you can't ignore that. Taurus, well, you can, but it, it diminishes you. And so here you're letting that part of you shine. You're letting your power, your purpose, and your truth shine. And as it shines, you fly. Listening. When we talk of... Ooh, sorry, my nose itches. Okay. There we go. When we talk of listening, when we talk of the throat chakra, we always think of, or at least I think of, I think of talking. I don't think of listening. But it's so important. Our throat chakra represents communication. It's kind of like when Mercury's in retrograde, how communication goes out out of whack. It's kind of like when your throat chakra is out of whack. It's like you're in constant mercury retrograde. So here, with this listening to your throat chakra, listening to your body, your soul, yourself, your power, you are going to find yourself being able to move forward, seeing what used to be unseeable, what used to be unobtainable. Now you speak it into existence as you listen to what you desire. And you're taking everything in. This can also be a time where you feel a little bit overwhelmed because you are taking in so much. There is so much power around you. Listen. Listen and it will bring you peace. It might bring you a bit of chaos before the peace. All right? But listening brings peace. Peace. The throat chakra and the crown chakra are very important. What you speak becomes what you think. All right? Because when you speak, you are speaking into reality your mind, your soul, yourself. So be very mindful of this, especially during this time. And there's peace around you. And there's a sense of, all I want to do is have peace. All I want is peace. And that's what you're going to see come. It's kind of like this peace is guiding you forward, is leading you towards something greater, something more. And you have the magician at your center with the strength card. Now the strength card is a Leo. Okay, it does represent a Leo. In the Major Arcana, this is a time frame of July 23rd to August 22nd. The magician represents your inner power. There's all four elements. He's holding the wand in his hand, as above, so below. As you believe it, so it becomes. And then we have the cup, water, sword, air, pentacle, earth. So you're having all the elements coming together. And the way that they play off each other, the way that we need each element in order to survive, in order to have this earth thrive. And then we have the strength card here. The strength card is saying your greatest strength is not brute force strength. It is not you will listen to me strength. It's through compassion. It's through love. So as you stand before the altar of your existence, as you are with the magician, you call forward your strength, your compassion, your love, your understanding. Because here she has a boar at her side. And that was the deadliest animal in the Celtic world. Well, in most of the Celtic world. So here you have that taming of something that was seen to be untamable, seemed to be, you know, just the fiercest thing alive. Because remember, in medieval times, boar hunts, a great show of skill. Here you do not have to hunt the boar, but you love the boar, and the boar became a part of you. And the boar walked with you, defending you, giving you courage, moving you forward, as you are the magician of your life, of your destiny, as you create because you're going to see this creative energy around you, what you're focusing on, what you're thinking about, really does become truth. Strong fire sign presence here, because we have the Lord, then we have the Sun, and we have the Strength card. So here, the Lord, the Sun, the Strength. So by claiming your throne, this is Aries energy, time frame, March 21st to April 19th, you claim your throne, you know your power. You might say, oh, Dane, I don't know my power. This is going to be a time where you start to see it, where you start to see your power shining through, your purpose, your dedication. The Lord claims what is his. The Lord is powerful. He has the horns on his head, crowned by, by power, by force. And it's interesting because force, it goes against the strength card, but the Lord is claiming his throne and not backing down. 
Because a weak ruler, isn't there that old saying, a weak ruler isn't a ruler for long? So here, there's a sense of being a strong ruler. And what I love about the Lord, the Emperor card in the Rider White Smith deck, is that it always makes me think of David from the Old Testament, from the Torah. And David, he was not perfect. King David was not perfect. And that's one of the reasons why I've always felt so drawn to him, because he was not perfect. And he did not pretend to be. But he strove to be. And he was that balance between looking for perfection and being human. And that's what we always do in life. That is our balance here, or our striving. We strive for the perfection of, of divinity. But we are simply human, and we will fall and we will make mistakes. But we need to hang on to our throne, claim our power, know our truth. Even if you're sitting there and thinking, oh, well, what I'm into, what I like, there, there isn't anything prosperous about it. I can't make money off of it. I know a person who makes money off of baby names, has a YouTube channel, does baby names, and that's, that's her thing. That's what she does. I mean, there is a niche for absolutely everyone. It may not be a fortune, but that's what our world is trying to sell us. We need fortunes. If you're not a multimillionaire, then it doesn't count. Well, that's ridiculous. It does count. Claim your power. Know your truth. Don't let anyone knock you from your path. Because during this time, you're completing a cycle. The Wheel of Fortune is saying you're coming close to the ending of something and the beginning of something greater. And as one chapter ends and the next chapter begins, you will have your ups and your downs, your lefts, your rights, your, oh my gosh, I'm overwhelmed feelings. But there is that completion coming forward. And that's what guides you. That's what moves you. It's like, oh, okay, I see. I understand. There's a knowing that's going to come over you, Taurus, that you're like, oh, an aha moment, a light bulb moment, however you want to say it. And it comes because of your hard work, your dedication, your determination. And as the circle is almost completed, you're putting down the burdens that you've been carrying. You're not quite there yet. You know, the circle isn't fully completed because there is that power, there is that strength to be embraced that moves you forward. But when the circle is completed, as the chapter ends and the next one begins, you are going to be putting down the weight of the world that you carry on your shoulders. It's like Atlas. Atlas was damned to carry the world upon his shoulders. He was a titan. He fought against the Olympians, you know, Greek gods. And they lost. The titans lost. And that was his punishment. But you do not need to carry the weight of the world on your shoulders. It is not yours to bear. And you might say, Dane, if I just take everybody's hurt and pain and disappointment and I try to make it better and I carry it on my shoulders it will be better everything will be okay but here's the thing and it's a hard lesson to learn most definitely you can't you can't take the weight off of somebody else only they can decide to put it down you can try but they will never be happy they'll sit there and they'll find something else to complain about and then you'll think, oh, I have to take that from them. No. Now is the time to focus on you. To put down your passions, your purpose, your power, your beauty. And let yourself shine. Standing tall. Claiming your throne. Understanding the magic that lies within. With the magician right here. And the magic can be conjuring magic, if that's what you're into. But for me, I really see it as the channeling of the God's head within. In Hinduism, Brahma said, I hid the God's head within man because that is the one place he will never look for it. Turn inward and you will find it. Isn't that what every religious icon does? Leader does? Sees the beauty from within and lets it shine out. So let us let the light shine, especially during this time. Our power, our purpose, 
our dedication. Let it shine. And it leads you to the Prince of Cups, to your heart's truth. And you're going to sit there and say, I will fight for my heart's truth. We'll move forward in power and in purpose, and nothing and no one will stop me. Go slowly forward. No one will stop you. There will be road bumps along the way that will try to derail you, but not stop you for long. There is a sense here of contemplating, of offering, offering what you love, offering what you desire as you move forward. And as you offer, as you sit there and say, this is my gift, this is what I cherish, and this is what I release, you have the Seven of Cups. And the Seven of Cups says, visualize, visualize, visualize. See where it is that you want to be. See what it is that you desire. And visualize yourself moving forward. It warns against imagination. Well, well I, I actually, I don't like saying that at all. That came out of my mouth. And I'm like, no, that's wrong. It's not warning against imagination. It's warning against daydreaming. And one day, one day, one day. Today is the day. Seize it. Contemplate what you desire. Visualize yourself moving forward in this power, in this purpose, in this truth. And as you do so, you're claiming part of your destiny. Because it's no longer the million tomorrows. It's today. And as you visualize, as you take in this knowledge, you start to see yourself being the person that you want to be. And the first place and the first way you conquer anything is between your ears. You have to believe it. And then think about it. You might say, Dane, I've been thinking about this for decades. And it might not have been ready. You might not have been ready for the fulfillment of your dream. And now it is time to sit there, contemplate and see. What do you want? And who will you be? How do you want to move forward? Because there's a ferocity to you with the Prince of Swords, Air Sign Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It's like, now is the time. I'm going to go for it. That's it. End of the discussion. So I said there can be an antiness to you. You know, oh my gosh, I have to move. I have to get out. I have to do things. But as you cut through doubts and fears, and as you stand your ground, you're going to see that sometimes the most innocuous ways the most peaceful ways, the most calming ways are the greatest ways that you move forward. You could also have a very strong connection with an air sign energy and a water sign energy during this time. But also your heart and your mind are coming together. And you're going to see as you defend, your heart offers. Your heart offers. So you might think, okay, I have to go forward. And there's a such speed here to the mind. And the heart is saying, this is what I offer you. The heart and the mind come together. Why is that important? Because it is your emotional truth. We are emotional beings. So often we want to say, no, we're logical beings, we're this, we're that. We can transcend them both and just simply be. And I'm sure we can. But it's just a lot for me to take in. And so with the heart and the mind coming together, you see, you see, when you're having a bad day, when things aren't going your way and your heart feels heavy, your mind goes to the negative really easily. When you're having a good day or when you're in love with the world, your heart and your mind, they go lightly. You see the beauty in things that are overlooked. And here it's embracing that beauty, it's embracing that peace and letting that be the force that drives you forward. And as it drives you, you have the Four of Cups. Divinity is handing you a gift. Your angels, your spirit guides are handing you a gift. You're looking over here. And you're a little bored with this. It's like, oh my goodness. Been there, done that. And now your angels and your spirit guides are saying, turn around. See what has not been seen before. Look where you haven't looked. Move forward in a way that takes your breath away. Kind of dare to be. And take that cup and drink of it. Because as you dare, you become. And then you move forward in the sun, blessed and beautiful. There's an innocence to you, the sense of rediscovery, the sense of 
opening up your mind, your soul, and yourself to that of a child. And it's not, you know, it's not being foolish. Because usually when you say innocent or naive, well, naive, yeah, most definitely, it has a negative connotation. Or they're just too innocent to understand. It does. It's like a patronizing thing. But with the sun card, there is a sense of, yeah, people might not understand where you're coming from, why you want to focus on the beauty of things instead of the horror and the sorrow and the pain and the hurt and the chaos. But you're stepping into the light. And as you step into the light, you are just shrouded in it. And it radiates from you. And by embracing the light, you embrace a love, a peace, and a beauty that is spectacular. Directionally, okay, you have fire sign energy, which is south, air sign energy, which is east, and water sign energy, which is west. Right? So you are looking at everything at times but your true north, which is you. You point north. Earth sign energy is point north. Look at your at your guidance guiding star. The beginning of the day and the end of the day are going to be very important to you. How do you start your day? Yeah, what do you start your day with? How do you end it? Is there a ritual that you have? Do you want to incorporate, incorporate one into your life? Your passion, your purpose. That's what's shining through here. And it's mastering it and bringing you joy. As you do so, you complete that cycle. The circle will close. Starting a new chapter. Embracing a new time. And you do so with strength, with dignity, and with power. Your subconscious message for this time is the Three of Swords. Subconsciously, you're looking at heartbreaks, pains, disappointments, the reasons why you shouldn't move forward, the doubts that were planted in you by others. And it's saying here, look at them. Look at the heartbreaks that we say, oh no, I'm okay, I'm fine. We just smile through or push through. And with the Three of Swords, it's saying, take time out. Step back, look at it. Look at everything that has shaped you. And know that none of it went in vain. That it was just something that didn't add. So what I'm seeing here is that it added to the depth of you. And if you didn't know heartbreak, pain, disappointment, hurt you wouldn't be the beautiful person you are now because there would be no compassion. There would be no love. There would be no light within your life shining forward. And so subconsciously, as you look at the pains and the disappointments, you see yourself transcending them. No longer being defined by I can't, by by fear but moving forward in power and in presence of self. Your subconscious chakra message is abundance. It is at your root. It's the root chakra. Abundance is at your root, and it will forever move you forward. Embrace your root. Embrace what is the most important thing to you and for you. Your subconscious spirit animal message is the wombat spirit. Be at home. Quite literally, yes, be at home, but also be at home within yourself, within the temple of your soul, your body. Connect with you and be at home, be at peace. All right, Taurus, I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I love each and every one of you, and I'm sending healing, beautiful energy to you all. Bye.